Hello, everyone. I'm taking a break from my work day to give you a word that the Lord's showing to me. I uh, have a little bit of light on work today. So I got into God's word. I just open up. Uh, I'm going to open up with Romans 1, where Paul opens up his, his uh, letter to the Roman church. And in verse 7, it says, To all who are in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. For I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all. And your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, and I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I may mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by some means now at last I may find my way in the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, and I may impart to you some spiritual gifts so that you may be established, that is, I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. And I thought that was a, a, a perfect opening to, to me coming to you today, simply because, you know, it goes on to say that he, he misses you and he wants to be with you, he wants to be around you. And I thought that was just perfect. So it's nice to be together again with you, and I, I love to come to uh, minister to you, and possibly I can get something from reading your, the scriptures, and you can get something from what I have read. One of the things that uh, Paul talks about in, in almost all his letters, is he opens up and ends with grace unto you. And as you know, Grace is God's divine influence in your life. And through grace, we're able to do things that we would never have thought were possible. Uh, the God's influence in our life brings love into our life. And just recently, I, I watched a video and uh, a person explained God and his love. As you see an ocean... Now, God doesn't, and, and this ocean is love. Now, God doesn't give us bits of this ocean as love. God is the ocean of love. That's kind of interesting. and it's, uh, it's amazing. So, uh, yeah, God's an amazing God. You see how you were blessed. And you have to think about the blessings of God in your life in order to understand how big and how wonderful God is. Did you ever sit back and you, you're watching TV and it comes across the commercial and you'll see the, uh, the poor children that are being held by their mothers in some distant land. And the children, you can see the skeletal structure of their bodies. And God was showing me today that, you know, We've truly been blessed. You know, this, this country was based on uh, Christ. It was ba based on uh, Judeo-Christian beliefs. So I believe that's the reason that God has blessed us through all these years, these, uh, what, 400 years now, or 300 years that uh, the United States has been here I think God has truly blessed us because we based our country on the belief in him. And you know, many of these other countries where the people are poor and they're destitute and they don't have food and they don't have water, most of those countries are believe in religions that are far from the Christian faith. So I believe that's the reason we are truly blessed. Even Paul he was he was really excited about his being blessed. And he says in 1 Corinthians in chapter 15, he says, For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. 
and his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly that they all, yet not I, but the grace of God, which with me, which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believe. You see, Paul never took, he didn't take uh, any of the uh, credit, I guess it's credit, for anything that he did. It was all of God. And we find ourselves in this time, and I, and, uh, I got convicted myself of, uh, you know, trying to take credit for, for something of God or where it's not God at all. It's, or it's not me at all, it's God. But I don't want to take any credit for it at all. See, Paul says it's the great by the grace of God. By God's influence, he's able to change or he's able to, to rise up. He's able to preach. He's able to do things. And in a like manner, me and you are the same. It's, and, and Paul, he's he just saying what, what it's supposed to be for all of us. We're supposed to have that divine influence in our lives that we can raise up. And we change. And instead of trying to give out love, we're immersed in that love of God. And we just sit back and splash people just like we're trying to spread that love. But yeah, I, th I thought of that. Yeah, splashing people and spreading the love. Hallelujah. Praise God. But we need to we need to spread that love. And you know, if you begin to think about what I said a few minutes ago about how how this country has been blessed and it's because we we started out our country, you know, believing in Christ and believing in God. But those poor individuals that don't have God, they really need to be splashed with some of that love. So I guess that's that's why we pray and that's why we're here today is to, to share that love. You know, Paul talks about God's word, and he talks about how God, how God blessed him, and God gave him grace, and God strengthened him, and he never, never gave him more than he could handle. In a like manner, God never gives us more than we can handle. I've been a lot through a lot of situations where people have come up to me and they says, "Brian, how, how can you handle that? How can you deal with that?" I wouldn't be able to do that, Brian. And again, it's, I didn't even realize what it was. But it was truly the grace of God to, to got me to get me through those situations. So let us pray. Uh, we need to pray for the county of Butler. We need to pray for our nation. We need to pray without ceasing. According to God's word, we need to pray without ceasing. We have to know and believe that what we're praying for is real and what we're praying for can be done in the name of Jesus. So, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you hear my words, you hear my prayers, Lord. You are a great and mighty Father. We thank you so much for your, for your Son, Lord Jesus. Father, we believe your Son came to this earth and lived as a man. We believe your Son was crucified. that he died on the cross. And Lord, that he was buried. And in three days he arose from the dead. That he conquered sin and death, Lord. That through Jesus Christ, he paid the price for my sins and all 
with sins of those that will call upon him in belief. Father, we thank you for all of your, you've done, Lord God, and all that Jesus has done. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for that Holy Spirit power that dwells within us. We thank you for immersing us into your love. We thank you, Lord God, for the, the powers and knowledge of your word. We thank you for your word, Lord God. The detailed text, Lord God, showing up us who you are. And how we can grow to, to be more like you. Lord, we thank you for the earth, Lord, and the, the seasons. We thank you, Lord, that we here as we work together, Lord, that you have blessed us. That instead of being one of those children that are poor and have a, a skeleton of a body and don't have food to eat, Lord, you have blessed us beyond bounds. You have opened the, the windows of heaven, Lord, and blessed the United States of America. And we thank you, Lord God, that we are part of the United States of America, that you have blessed. And if any land was a land of milk and honey, the United States would be that. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in the in the lives of the saints, that they're those ones, Lord, that are praying with me right now. Lord, I pray you continue to bless each and every one of them and their families and their families' families, Lord God, that you continue to open the windows of heaven and bless them. Lord, that you continue, Lord, to, to minister to them your word, minister to them your love, Minister unto them, Lord God, the grace of God. Minister unto them, Lord God, all that they need and all that they can give out. Lord, your word is great and your word says that we are to go out. That we are to preach Jesus to all mankind. Father, we, we pray, Lord God, that you'll give us each the boldness, the boldness to reach out to those that are lost, the boldness to reach out to those people we meet in the stores or in the restaurants, online, on the phone. Lord God, to reach out and we spread and we give out the name of Jesus, in love and humility. Lord, your word is true. And we, Lord, we can't be afraid to speak your gospel. Lord, help us not to be afraid. Strengthen us, Lord God. Give us that boldness. That's all you can do. Lord, we've been praying for the for the county of Butler. Lord, Lord let's let's pray for the county of Butler. Lord, I, I pray you minister unto, to each and every person, Lord God. Lord, your word says we bind on what, what we bound on earth, we be bound in heaven, what we loose on earth, what we loosed in heaven. Lord, we bind the evil spirits, Lord God, the evil strongholds that are in the county of Butler. Those spirits, Lord God, of bondage, those spirits of uh, uh, addiction, those spirits of unhealthiness, Lord God, the spirits of iniquity. We bind them here in the county of Butler. Lord, and we cast them away. Lord, we bind that spirit of the COVID-19 virus in this nation, Lord, and in the world. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. That no more die, that you 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 stop it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you corral that, you Lord, you bind that virus, Lord. Father, your your wisdom is 
is far, far, far above all of our wisdom. Even our smartest doctors have not your wisdom. Lord, I pray, Lord, and you know the universe, you know all this, Lord. You can bring something that will eradicate that virus in a moment. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you bind that virus and let it not wreak havoc anymore. Lord, we thank you for all you're doing. We thank you, Lord God, for working your wiles in our lives. We thank you for touching all the members of the church that I belong to, Lord, and all the members of the church worldwide. That you bless us, Lord, and that you move upon us, Lord God. Give us boldness, all of us, Lord, worldwide, to reach out to the lost. Give us that strength, Lord. Give us that trust, Lord, to reach out. And we thank you for all you're doing. We give you all the glory, Lord, for what you've done, Lord. Lord, it's just amazing how you've blessed this United States. You're just an amazing God. We thank you for all you're doing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're quite able to move upon everyone, everywhere, on the behalf of your church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad for this time, and I'm glad that we're able to spend a little time in prayer. So until next time, keep the faith, keep looking up. Amen.